Hello, hello. Welcome to A Couple of Blurs. I think this is like episode 60. 60? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's almost eligible for Social Security if it still exists in the next five episodes. Yep. I'm comedian Giles Judah and I'm here with my handsome co-host, regular ass George. And we just talking about shit. Um, what's up everybody? Um, I was going to show you this commercial because you know how much I hate commercials. I know, sweetheart. Um, I know my Turn you up a little bit. Um, so... Is it bad? I'm pretty sure you've probably seen it before. Oh, God. The ludicrous commercial. This is ludicrous. Yeah. Well, you don't tell ludicrous what's ludicrous. Ludicrous tells Cause you what's ludicrous. ludicrous. Okay. Oh, that is ludicrous. You don't need me for this. Hang on. Like a good neighbor. You get the point. Have you seen the one with, uh, I think it's Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. Like, it's a whole series. Oh. Like him, he didn't even need to be in there at all. Right, like, and the left I is toothbrush and shit. Like, I might, I might be over exaggerating a slight bit, but I feel like whoever wrote this, like the ludicrous one, should be beaten to death in the street. I mean, it's base comedy. Uh, it's, it's simple comedy. It's so fuck. It's, it's this rudimentary comedy. Who, one, you went to school for years. This is what bugged me. They went to school for years and got hired for marketing and paid ludicrous probably over thirty thousand dollars to do this to do a two thousand and three joke. Like whoever whoever wrote it, whoever approved it, both well, should be thrown. Got a bunch of movies should be out, so. should be thrown in the street. Well, he got a bunch should of movies coming out. Should be thrown so. in the street. It's good and promotion. the C- the CEO of State Farm should come out dressed as Negan and beat the fucking shit out of him. Like <laughs> that shit really pissed you off, dude. <laughs> like I don't like. I'm like, come on. Like the moment I saw him, I'm like, y'all gonna do a ludicrous joke, aren't you? And they did it. I'm like, come on. That grinded your gears, didn't it? It really just makes me want to do that whole I hate commercials uh, sideshow, but I gotta like do a lot of like research and like I have to watch these and download them and it's something. It's probably something in the future. Who knows? But you know some what? YouTube stuff. That, I think I want to start something called jokes. I'm tired of. You yeah. want to know what I'm really? What joke I'm really fucking tired of? Yeah. Every time somebody sees a homeless person with a dog, they're like, "Oh my god, they yeah. worried about the wrong roof." <laughs> yeah. fucking, um, one piece laugh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. All right. Yeah, that's the first time I seen that was like a vine or something like that. But I'm like, some maybe they just the need car. some protection, so don't nobody right. fuck them up the ass and steal their shit. You ever think about that? Oh, yo, 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 ass niggas. People but, be acting like if you are poor, the poorer you are, the less things you're supposed to have. I mean, look, let's be real. Having a dog, that's a lot. But people <laughs> donate more to people with dogs. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get that, but still, people donate more to people with pets that are homeless just, than people it's just, with kids. It's just, it's just, it is kind of still fascinating. You just, you're able to take care of a dog. But, I mean, shit, because you know, uh, behind a McDonald's, you can find some meat for the dog. All right. Um, before I forget, before we start talking stuff, because I keep forgetting, even though we only recorded like two episodes since I got this message. I got well, we recorded one, That's and I a forgot. Lot. Yeah, it's a. I got a. I got a, a message on. The the phone on the phone on the voicemail. That shit like the beginning of fucking Star Wars. Seven two five nine 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 two seven zero four. You wanna, you want to, uh, <laughs> in a galaxy far far away. You wanna send in a story or something for us to read or advice or whatever. We got somebody who wanted some advice, and it's kind of long, so we're gonna pause and like try to sum it up. So give us a second. All right, we decided to just read it because it don't make sense to. Whatever, you get the point. All right, so we got a um, we got a text message to the show. Uh, somebody said, so I made this post on in a group on Facebook. I've been drinking too, so I might <laughs> slur my words. So I made a post in a group on Facebook, basically asking how to respond. This is what I said in the picture I included. It's like a picture of a text message and stuff like that. Well, I'll get shots. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, everyone in the comments said I was being emotional, emotionally abused, and should leave. I found messages to other women on the, on his phone. I didn't bring it up, but I probably left the screen up. This is how today is going. All the messages I received while driving to pick up our child, for reference, the ex he's speaking of, I dated over 10 years ago, and we stayed friends. I've been very uh, intentional and with my actions and words, so I know there's nothing uh, devious on my part. He wants me to stop being friends with the, with the only two people I talk to, which uh, consists of mostly memes. Uh... We both have been unfaithful in the past, but over a year ago, we decided to go to individual counseling and then couples therapy. 
I don't want to keep. <laughs> I, I I've been the only one going to counseling. We get it for free, and he's uh, cheated again this year. I just spent thousands of dollars on gifts and months of planning a party for his birthday. He didn't once say thank you. Whenever we, he's upset, he slams doors. He's aware of my P- PTSD and isn't gentle or patient with our daughter, which uh, which is how he uh, he was this morning. And I told him not not to force. OK, my fault, which is how he was this morning. And I told him not force her to do things because it was traumatizing her just because he's bigger and stronger doesn't mean he can just force her to do things. There's no reason she should be crying if uh, he wasn't being rough and forceful. He didn't like that. Uh, he was getting dressed. Uh, I know messed up, messed up in the past, but since stepping back and going to therapy, being intentional with my actions, it seems like he's gaslighting me and he's always does this. And I never know how to uh, respond. Whenever he does something, he feels guilty about about it. Suddenly, it's my fault for what I did in the past. Uh, didn't edit to add. I'm I'm in the blue messages. Uh, it's kind of hard to like. Man, let me look at that nigga. Uh, okay, so she says uh, she's ready for school. He responds, "Okay, you can take her." And he uh, he texts back with like three dots. Uh, you didn't need to ask why I was upset. This is all him. The rest of them is him. You don't need to ask why I was upset. I told you already. Stop turning off the heat when I'm home. I see I'm not important, but your exes are cool. I don't respect this relationship. This is how I feel, so you don't have to ask. Something needs to change. Then, da da da. Yeah, leave that nigga. Yeah, he sounds like a terrible. Even person. though, look, check this it's out. hard. It's it's gonna be hard, but I'm assuming this is a a woman, all right? Because I left it. They left it anonymous. Um, I mean, duh, with the context, Jesus Christ, my, it is woman. <laughs> so, um, this is like a month ago they sent it. We I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I got sick and. You, Whatever. I'm sorry. So this whole situation, you probably already got it fixed up. But I think, it, yeah, it's pretty Honestly, obvious. Honestly, a situation like that, in a, in a situation like it's not going to get fixed until Look, they... Honestly, if you're going to couples therapy and singles therapy, you're only, doing the work. I mean, only the, uh, she is. No, I'm saying, well, you're doing the work on yourself. If he's not doing the work, I know it's going to hurt and I know it's going to suck. And then sometimes you used to being with a motherfucker so long yeah. that it seems like that's what you should do. But leave. Cause like my sister was in a situation where her and her baby daddy were constantly cheating on each other. They were getting fights. He beat her ass. She called the police. She beat his ass. He wouldn't call the police and just, just dumb shit. Just like, back and forth. It's it's a cycle. Like that don't sound healthy. And, and it's yeah. not even, if you can't do it for yourself, do it for your kid. Yeah. But anybody in, a, in this type of situation. So sorry again for a late response. Uh, in the, in the future, if anybody sends a message, <laughs> maybe don't make it too time sensitive you know but yeah if you're still in a situation get the fuck out of there like for real um, and then if he's trying to isolate you from people that you and, talk to that's that's a, a and, really big yeah red especially flag. if it's friends and, and, and it's proof that you're not doing anything devious like you said it's just memes like i i got a bunch of friends a bunch of memes and shit like that and shit like that it's nothing i feel like he's trying to isolate because that's one that's definitely a sign of abuse yeah. and I, I know it's like kind of hard especially with the you having a kid but like no nope. No, no, no. I'm just, I was, I was getting to it. I was like, I know it's hard too because of that, but it's like, bro, let me tell you something. Someday it'll be, I forget it'll be, who my baby daddy it'll is. Be, it'll be worse if you stay with both of y'all, like, separated mentally. And if you don't do it for yourself, do it for your daughter. But I'm going to tell yeah. you this my daughter was one of the main reasons I got rid of my baby daddy. Like, I don't talk to him in so long. I forget that's my baby daddy. And, this, and those days are wonderful. I just want him to die. We got this one net. I just want him to die. I swear, it's only one net every time. That nigga's a. I think he mad because we killed his brother. Yeah, I mean we but kept. But it's we, cold. I so mean why we kept the car- I mean we kept the carcasses around. We got like. Three, you did that. I th- no, I told you this morning. It was oh like God, a, you're a serial killer. Yeah, it's like they a think you're a serial killer. Maybe it's an investigator net. <laughs> yeah, a fucking detective net. <laughs> the nigga's like from the the yeah. net PD. Yeah. Dick net. <laughs> Dick natty. Yeah, Jesus. D- Something's wrong with it. Like, I know, I know what you did. He's just fucking buzzing around me. He trying to arrest you. That's what it is. But the the cuffs don't fit. But yeah, no, for real, seriously. Um, because emo- emotionally you become abusive eventually. That's it's already there. Once you start gas like motherfuckers, yeah. that's that's the shit that made me punch you in your face. So don't tell me I thought some shit happened and it didn't. Or I thought it did, and you like, oh, it didn't. I'm gonna beat your ass. 
Oh, I didn't hit you. You weren't yeah. that cheap. But yeah, sorry again for the late response. Next time, especially, I'll put a red alert. Especially uh, right now, we're recording this on the December seventh, and it might not even come out until about <laughs> the thirtieth, because because I, I haven't released the last episode either. We had to drop these bitches on the schedule. I mean, they were there. It's just uh, I got like one more week of peak, and I can't uh, wait till you know with that shit. Get the fuck off the mic. <laughs> Did you kill it? No, because I didn't want to slap the mic. Might as well. Damn, I don't even got my mouth on it. It was like, what is it saying? It's like my breath stink or something? God damn. It's the liquor. It smells the liquor. Yeah, it smells sweet. Jesus Christ. Now I cover my beer up. Is. But no, nah, like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, get out. We don't blame you. It's not your fault. It, it, it's not your fault. If you stay and something bad happened, like, that's, that's yeah, really now. just going to be on you. But yeah. Like on you emotionally and mentally. So like I don't even want you to have to go through this shit. But yeah, okay. Three out of five. If you want to uh, send your stories or some advice that's not time sensitive, 725-999-2704. You can leave a voice memo or you can text or you can send an email, if, well, especially if you got a longer message, to theblurredspod at gmail.com. Uh, oh my God. Our upstairs neighbor is taking a shower. Again? But the water that's- ran for so long. That's good for him. I think he's selling ace. Yes, um, he bathed a lot. That's good. No, that's, it's that's not. Good to know. I think he. I think he's at selling, least he's washing it. I think he's selling man bussy. But doozy. Something. So uh, you uh, want to start your stuff? I'll write these notes real quick. When I want to tell you something awkward happened to me uh, last weekend. Um, I finally got to work a club in Tyler called uh, Rose City Comedy. Which I was wanting to work it while I live like an hour away, but hey, it's not two hour drive there and back is well there and then a two hour drive back is not as bad. Um if you ever seen the pictures of the club before they kind of renovated, they had like couches and stuff, and I kept calling it a living room. And I kept saying it looked like a living room. So I got to perform there this weekend, well last weekend, and they get like put chairs all in there. It looks, you know more like a little comedy club it's like in an old storefront and so i get there it's nice they got a nice little green room they have a a quiet green room they got like you know a little refrigerator we can get drinks and stuff and so i'm sitting there in the green room and there's a curtain right next to me and it's like roped off which i'm you know you know people block off areas and i hear barking and i immediately get excited because i'm like oh my god they have puppies and the other comic was like, yeah, she said they get the bark and just spray them. But I feel like that was spray my place. Them. I was like, so me being me, I heard dogs. So I want to see. So I pulled a curtain back and there's a puppy or like a dog. I don't know. It's like a, it's a small breed. So it could have been an adult. It could have been a baby. I don't know. It was just on the bed like, hi. And I was like, oh my God. And it ran out and one of them ran into the audience. But the other one was like really skittish. And then I realized there's a bedroom there. I was like, oh, shit. This lady lives here. So these motherfuckers mm-hmm. been letting me call that club a living room openly on Facebook for the longest time. I was like, y'all didn't let me know this lady lived there. I felt so bad because she was so nice. Yeah. But I wasn't trying to roast it. It's just like a comedy club with couches in it. Yeah. it makes me think of nah. either a hookah lounge or a living room. Right. But I had a good time. I killed it. I had fun. It was worth it. I can't wait to go back. That's good. Glad you're getting out there still. She said I can take the puppy, my puppy, when I come. Because we already getting one. Yeah, I know, but she said I can take it to the club so it can come with me. Oh, the, the, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I guess, we, I guess we wanted to talk about it after we got it, but apparently we're getting a puppy this Christmas. We're getting a Chilini. We're doing what every American is doing. Well, I, I need an emotional support animal because yeah. I'm going off my anti-anxiety medication because the doctor that gave it to me. She either quit or got fired. They not telling me. So, yeah. Hmm. So, I'm going to try to put my emotional well-being on a small animal. Right. Let's hope it works. And I can't have a baby, so I'm going to just baby the fuck out of it. So I mean, as long as we was avoiding that, uh, that $500 to $750. Deposit. Yeah. But, shit, when we went to look at puppies, that cane corso you like was $5,000 on sale. Sure, you think I was considering it? Hell no, because the damn corgi was thirty two hundred on look, sale. I, I, I like I like her big 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 goofy ass, but five thousand dollars? Hell no. Even I'm, even even though they had a payment. If we plan. had an actual house where we had a yard, we could yeah. get a cane corso, and we could train that motherfucker. So if somebody run up in there, and we'd be like, "Hey, kill that nigga." Yeah, big ass horse. I'm like, <laughs> but nah. 
even with their financial plan, which doesn't make sense because what if I stop paying you? Yeah, go come. No, because the fuck and the fucking chip don't work either. That's the first thing I asked. I was like, what if I change my mind about paying? They're like, oh no, the chip, the chip's not activated until you act. Say less. Like, bitch, unless you actually no, but I don't believe that shit because they got probably put a low jack on it. Because you know, if you have a low jack on your car, they can turn it off anywhere. What if your dog just fall the fuck over? They put a fucking a- apple. So, uh, tracker in his ass or something. <laughs> look, look, you for me, forget to make a payment. He out there taking the shit and just fall the fuck over. Mm. And it, you, you tell you like, are you okay it, to reactivate, dog? Please pay. pay. What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> Every time you go on a walk, you get the notification. You are getting tracked. <laughs> Be like, bitch, what the? Where's fuck? the tag at? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna express this angle. Get- ah, there it is. There, 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 there it is. But I went by the little pet store and the lady was like, oh, I can't wait to see your dog. If you just have the shots, don't bring it. I'm like, bitch, first of all, why would I? Fuck, bitch. What? Oh, bring it. Oh, yeah. You got to piss me off. I was like, first of all, bitch, this dog's dying of dog flu. My dog ain't coming out here like that. Fuck you mean? She's going to be very sheltered. Shit, I'm going to be the, I already, already got plans. I'm going to be the one doing all the, the walking when I get off work. That's what I had to do with the last dog. Why? I mean. Because they wasn't, she wasn't walking the dog. She probably gonna be on my sleep schedule. Um, probably until I get home. It just, yeah, and then I'm gonna just a, like be just like Luna, and I'm getting a little grass to put it out there. Now nah, Luna was beating my ass. That's why I ain't fucking Luna. Luna and that motherfucker stole my goddamn fries from fucking Burger King, and I was like, this cat is a problem. Mm. He beat. I, I miss Luna. I miss Luna. Yeah, me too. You see this big ass. That motherfucker was be. It's like if he would have been calm and just chilled out, he could have been out. But that nigga, when he got the jumping in trash cans and shit, that's when I knew that nigga was a problem. I mean, that's where he came from. And but you ain't trying to go back to it. That's like a slave going back to slavery. Stop, nigga. Mm. But as soon as we gave him to the white people, that nigga was so happy and calm. I was like, you fucking yeah. racist bitch. Uh, by the way, uh, around this time that I release this, I'm going to release the episode. I'm, I'm gonna record it tomorrow uh, for sure. Uh, cause I just got done watching all three Men in Black movies. So I'm gonna do a, I'm doing an episode of a, a casual enjoyer. Hold on, the original Men in Black, not yeah. that rebooted shit with them weird motherfuckers. Which look, but I'm not. I'm gonna give away my review. If you go watch uh, Casual Enjoyer, it's not a review show. It's just me giving my thoughts on movies that it shows whatever. Um, I'm just say this: really quick movies, like how how they made movies back in the early 2000s or uh, late. I mean, they were like an hour and a half. Yeah, and it, it's just like it just got straight to the point. Well, I'll after fucking... after the Titanic thing, everybody was on a crunch because you know they had made it illegal to make movies longer than that. But I guess they forgot or whatever. But then everything was kind of like if you even if. But I think it might be just Will Smith movies because look at uh, Wild Wild West, fast as shit. It just got straight to the point. Got you got the intro. You got maybe some side quests or whatever. Here's the problem. Here's, here's the A the plot. Here's the B plot. Everything here's a little bit. Here's a little bit of lore. Everything else you kind of figure out yourself or whatever. Uh, and we're already at the end. Like <laughs> you, like you, you can tell what's the ending. Like the final ball shit because it's always in like arena or some shit or like some tower. It's like okay, this is the final battle. Yeah. Which by the way, um, again, I don't want to try to give too much. But that first, the first boss, the bug. Oh, that the roach. when he when he uh, when he transformed uh, that, legit terrifying. Yeah, like, I'm like, damn, that's still kind of scary. First of all, that's what the, I feel like. That's what the roaches in our wild look like. I'm when like, we first moved yeah, if you, if you, like if you, yeah, if we get uh shrunk, that's probably what roaches look like for like, real. No. Like I can see you can see the age of it because his eyes don't move, and but the thing like, is, he's, he still got personality as the bug. But the thing is, like they made movies as if hey, it's gonna be a one off. Yeah, instead of hey. We gonna set it up for two or three. Yeah, other we already got plans for like Aragon. Yeah, we already got it's, plans for seven movies. Look, Aragon came out when I was in high school. It's four books. It's one movie. What that's, the fuck? That's that why. You? That's why uh, Men in Black one and two came out like three years, and then the third one came out ten years later. Yeah, but I mean, it still works. But if you want to uh, listen to my review of it, uh, oh, the new Bad Boys coming out. Yeah, I need to watch Which that. The too. other one was Bad Boys for Life, but this is Bad Boys Four, so yeah. I don't understand how the fuck they. Who the fuck did <laughs> anyway? Mm. I I probably need to watch that too because I, I haven't it. I haven't watched that. I ain't watched Bad Boy since it came out. You want to do that and then do a casual of that? Oh, I casual, get the feature. Oh yes. Casual enjoyer. I would love to. Um. Anything for you? Right now we've been watching uh, Bass Reeves. I think we talked about that, but we never talked about it because hey. I think we wanted to finish it before we. Well, and the thing about me, you know, I you know I read a lot and I'm really big into history and shit. So you are, you know, I already know the lore and shit. So it's interesting to see how it's. 
it played out. But we can definitely wait until it's over because yeah. we're only five episodes in. Yeah. And I do apologize. I be throwing out random ass facts about fucking slavery and 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 kidnappings and shit. My bad. It's it's a bad habit. I'm trying to work on it. Yeah. When we finish it, probably watch a recap too, because I'm really bad about remembering. A lot yeah, because sometimes you be you be mm, a little bit, and I be like, I mean, cause like I'm watching it. I'm just because we watch. You start watching it at the beginning of peak, and I'm like, so I'm watching it. I'm trying to. I really do. I really try. Sometimes the episodes be too long. Like today, look, we had to stop 15 minutes before it's over. You brought and this take fucking, a nap. We brought this fucking. This shit was good. Pole with sausage sandwich. Nigga, that shit was a good. Tell me one good. It was good. I should have heated it up more. And that one was a black on one too. I should have. I should have heated it up honestly. Cause but. they all franchise, so that was a black on one. So that's the one we gonna keep going to. Mm. It's right by the movie theater. With they dirty grease fries. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I was speaking of. So uh, this is what. Yeah, this probably dropped later. Tomorrow is my kid's birthday. I have a fourteen year old. Why do we pause like that for? Cause you took a drink, and yeah. I had to have a moment of realization that she's almost an adult. Uh, you go to the movies. I will probably buy some pizza or something. That's that works. She's almost an adult. Um, I am posting more on my TikTok. I just posted a clip. Once we get that other one edited, which I I need it to finish before my EPK is due Saturday. But um, I'll have it before I go back to work. I'm going to sit down and I'm gonna like I'm gonna just make a little thread on TikTok. Um, just about like some shit. It just reminded me, um, cause my mom probably gonna hear this because this would be the one she hears. Um, with my kid turning fourteen, I think back on a lot of stuff. Like, um, when she was four years old, she, like she wanted a Hello Kitty birthday party, and I could absolutely not afford it. And my homegirl, uh, she lives. I think she was maybe in Virginia at the time. She mailed me everything I needed. For Aris's birthday party. She mailed me Hello Kitty cups. Hello Kitty plates. Hello Kitty balloons. Hello Kitty tablecloths. Like she packed. She had all of that shit sent to my daughter. And I am so grateful for her. Like I just. I can't help but think about that shit. You know. Um, And now she's turning 14. Mm -hmm. Right. I've been applying for high schools. I've been applying for for dual credits for her. Applying for high schools. That's that's a thing. That's new to me. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, like with me, I got into Trimble Tech because my sister worked there at the time. Like, But now if I were to try, it has to be a lottery. But um, I want her to go to Trimble Tech because we went to the school. We did the tour. My sister told you about like all the classes and stuff, you know? Right. And then she can keep an eye on her like she kept an eye on me. Right. So Eris won't choke I mean, slam if she nobody there. else. Oh, she ain't got no choice. Uh, no, you know I take that back. We did. I did apply for high school because I had to. Go, I went to North Tech, so we didn't even have an option. We just had. I mean, I didn't have to. I didn't have to apply for the normal public one. Normally, yeah, that shit. Normally high, but then we didn't. We didn't have shit. We just had that one funky then, ass high school. But then North Tech, I, I had to had to sign up. My mom wanted me to get out of because she she would drive the bus for normally. Ah, uh, so she was like, "Yeah, you're not gonna stay here." Right. I, like, I get it. <laughs> I get it. No, I just it's just weird because like I'm not a I'm I'm technically a young parent, but I'm not. You know what I mean? Uh, like I got pregnant uh, at 19, had a kid at 20, so technically I just barely escaped being the same mother. Oh yeah, okay. I, I so I tried to do. I kind of gave up on it, trying to find some good videos for the teachers quitting stuff from last week. From oh, last I found episode. a real good one. Um, this dude so, said it's my first and last year. I said, God, so, damn. So, no, no, I tried, I tried to find some of them, but I ended up finding, like, responses to it. So, to, like, old girl, the uh, the ballerina teacher, and people was like, oh, it's like, people obviously fucking rage baiting. So, he's like, oh, you can't handle it. It's like, no. Y'all you... kids are fucking bad, bro. Fucking, yeah, kids are terrible. Let me tell you something. Even sweet, like, Kalani, when she called me fucking fat, that was my 13th reason. She's like, you pretty, but you a little big. I was like, yeah, I'm finna go kill myself in the, in the fucking parking lot. Don't worry about it. And that's a that's a you, nice kid. You, you know you, what I'm saying? You seen, yeah, kids are just. Me. I seen, I, I watched, I watched countless videos of, like, these. Like, teachers are like storming out and kids just laughing. I'm like, something about, like, a kid laughing bro, at you. Bro, let me tell you something. We done, we... It's been times when when I was a kid, but we wasn't that mean. Like, we had teachers that would cry in class. And I'd be like, because we, man, we had a teacher with a speech impediment my freshman 
year of English, they would make her cry because they would call that bitch Sylvester. The cat, you know how that motherfucker talk? Mm -hmm. And then we had one teacher named Miss Carr. Oh my God, I love Miss Carr. She would cry in class. Like they was breaking these people down. I'm like, we wasn't even as bad as these kids yeah. are. Yeah, and it made me think of like, it was this lady called Miss Early back in Normandy, Normandy Middle, mm -hmm. or was it high? Either, either way, she was like just a like really timid lady. And oh, she God. was like, she, and she did like this random act of kindness to me. Cause I lost like my headphone, like my like MP3 or something during like a field trip or something, and just randomly she just bought me a new one. That was sweet. Yeah, and, I feel like sweet teachers should probably be in elementary, but now these kids are something so, different. I mean, I guess because I was like a good kid or whatever, she just like, hey, here you go, whatever. And people were just like torment because she was so like so fucking nice. I kind of want to try to like if I wish I, I wish I knew her first name so I can like I could probably look up go like, to the, yearbook the yearbook find go to yearbook.com see how she doing. Cause I, I legit, cause she was like well, super nice lady. I had a teacher like that too. It was uh my Spanish teacher. Yeah. Uh, like she gave me a bracelet, like a charm bracelet and stuff, cause I was staying. Like they locked her in a closet one time. She got so fucking mad. She came out, took her dentures out, went outside and smoked a cigarette. That's how stress. You know how fucking stressed out you gotta be to take your teeth out in front of teenagers. Mm -hmm. But I remember also in middle school we had a teacher. This lady had a nervous breakdown. And continue to teach like to the point her hair was falling out and she would come to school without a wig on type shit right i'm like y'all let her continue to teach us why i don't know but then again they was letting the teachers that was fucking students keep teaching like they didn't know that shit was happening right y'all be knowing them teachers be fucking them kids really Ooh, i can fuck was her name early? Man, just go find your yearbook and just scroll through it. I mean, I gotta find it. You keep going back to class classmates.com and they want me to pay for it. I ain't finna do that shit. Bruh, that shit used to be free. Like I just I just want the list. I just wanna I guess I don't know. Or go to like you know your class probably got a what to call it. Uh a damn page somewhere. Right. Anyway, um, you, did you have anything else on the? Uh, no, I'm just like I'm just still like. Oh yeah, you got food digging on here. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I never looked it up. You told me to look it up, but I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is. So I was on TikTok as I be, because why life, and um, it was these, it was several different people who posted videos, but I just happened to see one. This girl was like, I met this guy on a day nap. Everything was going great. We were supposed to meet at a restaurant. I get there. 30 minutes later, he doesn't show up. I look on the app and he's unmatched with me. So I'm sitting there and I was like, I might as well order something to eat and drink while I'm here. And she does. Mm -hmm. And she leaves and she talks about her experience. And it's happened to several other women. So this is something that started in India. These companies have teamed up with another company to set a profile on dating at websites to ghost people because when you get to a restaurant instead of leaving more than likely you'll spend at least 10 to 20 dollars so they were ghosting people letting them come to the restaurant so they can make more money off of them ordering food that's complicated it's called food digging yeah because they hiring people basically to that's complicated to be. as hell so now a lot of people are getting together and suing these companies which they fucking should yeah that's that, that, that would be like you Wanting to meet up with somebody and they're like, oh, come to my house. And then you get there and it's an open house for a realtor. <laughs> like, that shit would piss me off. But, like, you never know what somebody could be going through. That could be their 13th reason. Like, I'm going to try out dating one more time. And you get to the restaurant this motherfucker done unmatched with you, blocked you, and stood you up. Oh, yeah, let me go and get a drink so I can have the courage to just jump off this bridge, mm -hmm. bitch. Like, stop playing with people. That's rude as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm gonna go shit in your bathroom, and I clog your toilet, and I'm gonna set the fucking trash can on fire. That's hilarious, though. That's but that's that's fucking rude. <laughs> that's the, who fucking food. thought of that? Who thought about? It? He's like, you know what? Let's let's try to trick these motherfuckers. Well, they said it started in India. People were food digging, like just setting all these people even, up. I don't even want to hear nothing about food in India in the same sentence. I know, I'm like these motherfuckers. I know. I, I, know. I seen a live. I thought. I thought his dude was on a, he was in a warehouse. I thought he was, it was a hot dog warehouse. That's no. what I thought. Cause he, had, he just had his bare arms in like this machine, like cleaning hot dogs. But uh, reading the comments, it was like carrots. So it's like, so he was like, hell no. No, he's like, so he was cleaning the carrots, 
like straight from the ground or whatever. But still, you had like his ha- big hairy ass arms. I can't stand. I'm you. like, damn. They hard up, huh? But yeah, they starting to sue these companies, and I'm I don't like, blame they, them. Like, I'm don't like, waste my time, I'm bitch. Like, what the fuck is a hot dog warehouse? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they washing them like that? It's not like a really sad point. Like, na- like now, yeah, I, like people try to like make hot dogs sound like bad. Like all oh, these processed meats all smashed together. I don't eat that they're horse like, meat. Leave like, me alone. No, they're like no. But you should have shown me this video. Like if it was hot dogs, you should have shown me this video of this man cleaning them with his bare arms. I'll be real. After I saw that damn video of McDonald's where they nuggets came from, I was like, "Fuck it, I've yeah. I've been here. I've been a fan so long." Yeah, it's too late now. Like now I can taste it because I haven't had like McDonald's. I don't have McDonald's consistently. Yeah. So like now every time I do eat that and Burger King, my stomach do fuck up. Yeah. So yeah, like I can't eat them now. It's like the withdrawal. Um, I think that's really it. It's just a lot of shit going on technically with AI and shit. Like, you know, people uh, the fake streams and shit and like that. Because I think they use an AI to do those dating sites. They just make people in it. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Um. And you got this. You got the two things right here, but we need more research, really. Which one? Uh, the, you said the fake streams on Spotify. Well, really? no, they, Cause all they said was if they find out, but the crazy, the percentage is if over ninety percent of your streams are fake, then they charge your the yeah. distribution company, um, basically like I guess twenty dollars per stream or some shit like that. But if why did, why is ninety? That's a big. That's a lot. That's a, that's now. If you said if over ten percent of your streams. Or, or half, but ninety. <coughs> no, because they don't so want because they don't all want, of? they don't want to lose money still. So all of. Uh, no, because I was, what I wanted to wait because I heard about that, but I wanted to wait into the list of like some popular artists right. came out. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's probably after the first of the year. Side note. Uh, the new anime list drop. I guess we'll talk about that next week. Okay. Because I'm still waiting on the 2024 shit. Right. Um, and you need to finish Blue Eye Samurai so we can talk about this shit. I just started. So Peaches. That's cool. Did you see when he busted in on old girl? It was like, Peaches. Yeah. How they didn't know there was a girl? I mean, it's kind of hard to... The voice. I mean, with the with the hat and stuff like that. You ain't... And she didn't really say anything for I know her. pussy when I see pussy. Apparently not them. Shit. Yeah, they kind of dumb. Mm. They just trying to get their next money. Um... I and then you got the got away with it. they got the TikTok shop getting sued. Uh, I look, I already didn't trust it. And I they were snatching up all of their money though. Yeah, I don't like blame even them. if it wasn't cop bull, they no. This is what they was getting sued for. Listen to me and listen to me now. If you make anything with any Disney character on it, you yeah. can get sued. Yeah, you a dumbass. Even wait, shit. even if you getting that shit tattooed on your body, they had a right to fucking sue you. Getting, they can sue you for Disney tattoos, nigga. Anything that has a copyrighted uh, that's, Disney image. Right, that's that's extreme. But I'm saying they have the right to. I just think they choose. I think they choose not to. Yeah. But they have the right to. Like if you have Disney on that's anything, a lot. that's a lot of money. That's a lot of suing. Because that's, like, that's like us getting sued from, by Nintendo for having Kirby on the arm. Technically, this ain't even Kirby. This is a specialized Kirby. Like we'll get sued double because it's not only Kirby, but it's somebody else's actual art. Well, I mean, I I reached, we reached out to the yeah, artist. I mean, yeah, I mean, still got a free sticker. I, I mean, we, after we got the tattoo, I know, but they were happy. I was excited. I got a whole free ass sticker. What the fuck you mean? Yeah. I might get some more shit. Be like, can you drop some shit for me? But um, no, like you can't be selling Disney shit. Like you can't be selling Warner Brothers shit. Like this one girl made these cute ass Dr Pepper cups, but instead of putting Dr Pepper on there, like the one she made for herself, she put DP. I don't want that shit, bitch. Go on and copyright freeze this shit real quick. DP, don't. That's a yeah. That's it a says bad. I'm a DP girl. I'm like, ma'am, that's double penetration. I need this shit to say Dr Pepper. Look, at least, at least put like, at least let that bitch say LVN. Let the bitch at least be a nurse. You like, know, what at I'm least saying? put doctor. Like I'm a doctor P. But something. they were getting sued for that shit, and then they would shut down their stores and pull all their money, yeah. even if it was off merchandise that wasn't. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. Yeah, if it's copyright, you just reselling it like that. Yeah. And then the thing with Etsy is a lot of people. Apparently, the word smiley is copyrighted by the smiley face company. You know, a little line and. Squivel that you draws a smiley face. Mm-hmm. That image is copyrighted by the smiley face company, and so they sue her over her image. And she's like, "Nigga, it's it's like it was like a one bat or some shit." She's like, "It's some it's a one bat bitch." It's like it don't even like she had to go through legal processing and go to court to show that it wasn't a smiley face. But they sued her and several other owners for using the word smiley and shut their stores down. 
and like they were losing money. And I'm like, bro, you own some shit a four year old would draw. Right. This is it's such an old classic face. It's like what the it's fuck? It's like when people copyright words like hun. Right. Or like uh by Felicia's copyrighted now, which I mean that was smart on her ass. But it's just like certain shit has been copyrighted. Mm. Like certain colors are copyrighted. Like that Barbie pink, you can't use that. Verizon pink, you can't use that. Um, certain color oranges you cannot use. Like y'all copyrighting colors, yeah, bitch. Yeah, that's stupid. Like what the fuck? Like I get it. Like if you copyright like a like how you write your 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 logo yeah, shapes the or fucking, something. Yeah. You know how you know, like Stranger the Things. Font. You know how like Stranger Things font. Yeah. Like that. I get that. Like something like that. That's that's unique, but. Because Disney font is copyrighted. Barbie's font is copyrighted. Even like, you know how like Marvel been doing like they super, they, they posters? Yeah. You know, everybody been copying that where they got like the main guy in the middle and then like the people on the sides right next yeah. to it. Something like that. Everybody recognize that. Like if they copyright that, that'll make sense. But they, I mean, they haven't, but that'll make sense. At least it's unique. Yeah, for a superhero genre. But I mean, it's weird. I like, could you imagine we post something like, oh, smiley comedian, and like, hey, we suing you. Bitch, for what? For what? That J shirt that I had, uh, that Stay Broken one, oh, yeah. with the face on it, like, I imagine I'd get stewed for that. Like, like, you can have one of these kidneys if you want it, but that's all you finna get up off of me, nigga. You gonna get 17 cent. Well, you, you, you can get the, the two percent. Look, you had a 98% of my kidney that don't work. I'm gonna keep the last two percent. Mm. But I don't know. That's really just the only interesting things I saw other than that girl who said nurses were mean and then the nurses called in and got her fucking fired from her job. Some nurses are mean. Some of you hoes only there for a chick. Kill yourself. (sighs) Yeah. Damn, I just had something. It was something. Oh, you saw that one about that that Christian singer uh, getting... No, she didn't get kicked off, but... That bitch was singing on... No. Some Bobby something. Somebody found out she'd been doing that shit even back in 2014. Yeah, she she was like uh, trying to sing her Christian song on the... the What's her name? Hold on, let me pause it. Okay, uh, Bobby Storm. First of all, that sounds like a porno name. Uh, as the description on his YouTube, it say a Grammy-nominated gospel singer was nearly booted off a Delta flight when she refused to stop performing her new single which she insisted was just her doing what the Lord is telling her what to do. But I'm like this. If I'm on the plane, first of all, let me be real with you. You saw how I was crying before I even got on the motherfucking plane, right? If I get on the fucking plane and I'm trying to rest and relax and I hear you over my headphones, I don't give a fuck if you're in the middle of Amazing Grace catching the Holy Ghost. I'm going to tell you, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. And a lot of like uh, YouTube response, uh, you know, uh, the commentary pages, it was like stop, mate. Stop using stop God. using God as yeah. an excuse. Stop using ain't. God to be an asshole. God ain't tell you to do that. He didn't tell you to do that shit. God ain't tell you to be on a no fly list. And you know what? And you know what? As much as I hate public singing, I love a good sing song. But as much as I hate public singing and random songs in movies, she she made it an ad. That's oh. what made it worse. Look, Bob's Burgers must have been hell for you then. That <laughs> that okay. <laughs> Cause that dude, I didn't know it was a musical. I didn't know it was a musical. But it was either. good. But yeah, but it was. I think something it was off about this. Something different about that that was made it okay. Um, but no, it, she made it an ad. If you go watch the video, I'll I'll try to uh, put the link in the description, or just look up um, Bobby Storm Delta Flight. Right. Not only did she try to sing, but they tried. They stopped her. But she made. She was like, Hey, hey everybody, I'm a. My song is uh, Grammy nominated twice. No, what made me mad is she's like, they want me to sing. Who the fuck Who? is they? Except that, except that one Asian lady right that was right in front of her. She probably didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, it's, Bless her heart. it's so... Rude. It's so of the times of like the social media and just needing all this damn attention. It's fucking well, have annoying. You, have you seen all these Christian singers trying to make diss tracks? One dude made a diss track, the little Nas X. Nigga, why? I've seen stuff like that. Why? Before. Make y'all own challenges. Stop getting into yeah, secular yeah, shit. I think somebody, some one of the YouTubers talked about it before, and then they all kind of use the same vernacular, you know? Yeah, I watched yeah, the video. It's like it's, they use the same stuff. It's like the Lord. But then it, it's the same shit. I know. Look, I know Jesus, Devontae Christ, tired Jesus of these news. Using his name. Just like, why y'all keep bothering me? You're not supposed to be here. But hell gonna be busted wide open with a whole bunch of quote unquote Christians. So, but we don't want to talk oh, about yeah. that. One of these fake. Lordy, lordy. Uh, 
that's what that's the only really the only paid news I really paid attention to this week was Bobby getting. Look, hold on. We we once we figure out how this baptism thing will go, we gonna talk about how my mama to try to guess like my child. And oh yeah, you wanna you wanna announce that right now? The possibility that I still might be. <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. Who cares? I mean, is it, you wanna do it when you sober? No. Okay, go ahead. No, cause I'm fucking feel fine. I'm fine. Um. Apparently, cause I it's uh, cause I've been making jokes all week on Facebook because Facebook been trying to give out bonuses for like interactions. So I've have been, you gotten paid for anything yet? Look, cause it, I have. Everybody's like, oh, it's payday. Who got paid? It's like, not no, me, bitch. No, I looked up to like the stats, and apparently, I still haven't made no money. I ain't made shit. They either. why why would they give me the opportunity when I haven't had one viral thing? But what? Oh, I had one viral post. I'm waiting for that bitch to come around. It come around every April. But it's like I had a really good post right before that shit, and then like I didn't get a, I ain't get a dime. I'm like, why would y'all give me that when y'all know I ain't go, I ain't doing shit? So yeah, they expecting like half a million stuff, for probably like twenty dollars. That ain't worth it. Anyway, I've been posting a lot, right? Just instead of posting on Twitter, I've been posting on Facebook instead. And one of the, one of my thoughts was like, I got baptized as a Mormon like twelve Which is crazy, years because they hate black people like ten or twelve years ago, right? Like back in college, because uh, my sister or whatever. Long story, more uh, mi- missionaries came. They talked to us, whatever. They was really accepting of my situation, so I was like, whatever. I gave them like a chance. I'm like, whatever, right? And I got baptized, and I just I didn't Remember, go in, I, the many fathers, yeah. the many sons, and the many Holy Ghosts, and. Like most religions, it didn't really stick with me, right? So I just, I just did Mormonism. That shit. I mean, let me tell you something. You can barely tolerate having one girlfriend. What are you gonna do with six wives and fourteen kids? I'm like, so by, I gave him a chance. I got baptized as a Mormon, technically, and I just had this random thought. I was like, can you reverse that? It's like, because if not, I guess technically I'm still a Mormon, <laughs> even though I don't believe it. Let me I'm tell like, you something. Technically, let me tell you something. You walk up with a second wife, I'm beat your ass and live with Rihanna. I'm gonna uh, that shit. But it's just like. Unless I get to help Pete. <laughs> I just had that that thought. I was like, that's funny. But if you can't, I guess I am technically. I mean, maybe you baptized or something even else. My, even my auntie commented under my stuff. She was I like, saw she, she was, was like, so confused. She was like, oh, no. I was like. She was so confused. Like, don't, y'all, I was like, they didn't know. Don't worry, auntie. I'm still an atheist. <laughs> Good way to find out, yeah. Please, Father God. I know. <laughs> Can you please make sure my mom's not listening? Because I don't, I don't want to have. Please. This is like fucking forty-two minutes in. I know, but please, God, because I can't. Can you imagine? She gonna be up here. She gonna be. She gonna call people. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna call the JBI. It's a joke. The Jesus Bureau of Investigation. It's it's all a joke. I'm already under so much pressure. <laughs> it's not making a diamond. It's not. It's like one of the videos where they crush crayons. I am the crayon. <laughs> Shout out to Altaria. That is our number one fan. Shout out for driving two hours to come to my show. Um, I just had to throw that in there. Yeah. <sighs> Christmas is I feel I feel way more confident in Christmas this year, even though you have to work. It sucks. Mm. Our tree is so small, which makes our gifts look so big. I like it. Our Wednesday Adams tree. I mean, it's cool. I couldn't find a skull to put on top of it, so I just got the little star. I saw uh, Eye of Siron. What is no. it? Siron? <laughs> no. So, and it was like illuminating the roof. I'm it's like, damn, much. that's fucking cool. Yeah, but on that tree, it'll, it'll topple that little ass tree over. Mama told me I should have gave y'all the big tree. No, we need that little ass tree right there. What happened to the other one? Did we throw it away? Yes. Yeah. With my $100 carpet. Yo, have you seen I people mean, putting their fucking Christmas trees on the ceiling to keep their cats away from it? I cannot figure out how they got these holes on the ceiling with the fucking ornaments not just like falling off every two fucking minutes. Glue? Nigga, that's a lot of glue. You can never change that tree. You just gotta sit that shit in a corner somewhere. Bruh. Shout out to all the people who just gonna start decorating their tree as other shit instead of taking it down. I can't wait to see y'all Valentine's Day trees. <laughs> Be real, I probably would have did that too. I ain't no point. I ain't finna, especially the ones they got to take apart and shit. Didn't your, didn't your, didn't your cousin get a real tree? Yeah, and it was and then, cheap. And then the moment you see, you got it right, I started getting videos of like uh uh praying mantis eggs in trees. I know because I said something about it when I was talking about it, and I was scared because I made I made them shake the fuck out that tree. 
Because if I look in the back of my car and it's baby praying mantis, I'm finna look, I ain't finna lie to you. I'm finna talk to that car. We're finna get two new cars. I haven't even looked in the back of the car yet. It's just a few thistles. The whole car, it was a fir tree too, so the smell is loud. Yeah, I didn't even smell it when I got in. No, it kind of, look, I was, <laughs> it's the opposite of Fuel City Taco. Anything is better than Fuel City Taco. It's just the onions. That shit fucking stinks. It's the onions. It's not the barbacoa. It's like, the I, I want to go on Google Maps right now and review them Don't badly because of the onions. I will fight you. The onions stink. They're onions. They just, just as a no, not no, 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 not these onions. Fucking stank. Yeah, they like smell they, like your coworkers. No, they, yeah, they smell like my coworkers. That's what fucking. But onions they, they linger. Stank. No, not like this fucking bad. The Mexican onions. Everybody is 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 theirs and Whataburger onions. Man, let me tell you something. If you, bro, they be so mad at me when I be ordering a patty mac. Don't you put a motherfucking onion on there, like, bitch? Because I ca- I keep forgetting. I'm like, hey, don't don't put no. Uh, and they dice them so fucking fine. And they put the whole onion on there. Fuck it. They dice that bitch. They they just take one of them little food choppers and <laughs> throw that whole bitch on there. Why am I getting emails? It's like, who is this? They take old boy from out of jail and to chop their onions. Mm, mm, Slap chop. Mm. You stupid. They're like, fuck it. Let's just gonna put the un- whole onion in there. Yeah, they, like they, maybe, maybe they this won't is recognize not it. Like if I had to slide that shit off and it just go fucking onions be burning the taste off of the the patty. Like, Let me tell you something. I am from Texas and I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat from this. Something about Whataburger does not taste right, but I think it is the buns. Cause anytime I have the patty melt, I don't get that aftertaste. So I'm thinking it's the buns. And the fact that that bitch like seventeen dollars for a burger, I think that also makes it taste weird. But their chicken, if you ever want to make a homemade snack wrap, the chicken, those chicken strips, buy them hoes a la carte, get you a fucking tortilla, like flour tortillas, get you some cheese and some ranch, and you got a fucking snack wrap. Not that fake ass shit that goddamn Burger King and shit trying to do. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. It has been a day, hasn't it? I think that's all I have. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to start looking up some more nerdy shit so we can actually be, you know, on, on that nerdy tip. But, yeah. But, yeah, I think that's it for the episode. Yeah, that's it. I don't have nothing else. Um, buy our merchandise. Subscribe to our Patreon. And if you have some 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 advice that you want answered that's not time sensitive. Call or text. 725-999-2704. You can remain anonymous or you can put your name on it. Email us at theblurdspod at gmail.com. T-H-E-B-L-E-R-D-Z-P-O-D at gmail.com. Yep. I think that's it for me. Um, Yeah. Um, I say this every year. I like I want to do a rebrand of like the homes. But probably not. <laughs> okay. Look, if you feel moved. But yeah, uh, y'all have a good evening, night, day, whatever. Bye. Mm-hmm. Bye, niggas. You just peaked it. <laughs>